What's up guys, we're at the Moncton Regionals. We're here with Alex, he got third place today. Crazy. Uh, what'd you play today? Uh, I played Brandy Despia. Very nice, very nice. Any show you want to give? Uh, my dad, who played show. several servings. That's crazy. And my friend Caleb, who he played Brain of Despia too. He got 15th, I believe. That's so good. Yeah. He was like one point off topping. That's rough. Yeah. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's dive in. Yeah. Per <laughs> I, I find it very standard, the build that I played. It was. This is the only. I've seen people play two of the Albaz, but against the Cash Tier matchup, you, you definitely need to play three. Even though I only played one cashier and they never banished it. It's very. Then three Aluber. Very. This is very standard. It's three Aluber, one tragedy, and one ad lib. The ad lib actually was very good because I summoned Dragoon off of it like four times. Because I, I, I negated. I think it was against like a. I think it was a trap tricks. I. I activated Brandon in red. I already negated with Dragoon, so I activated Brandon in red, summoned back, searched, took this, banished through Dragoon, and then I summoned back Dragoon and I could negate again because it's... Soft once I'm trying, which is yeah. crazy. Then, like, fall the Valbass targets, it's Cartesia. I, I saw people playing two. I can't afford to play two. Because <laughs> I, I played one and then... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I play one myself. I, I think one's fine. Two makes sometimes sense, but it's a lot to me. You did, you got third, so it's yeah. your list. Because like, if you draw it and you get the fusion deployment, you can you can spec if you. That's the only time that I would see you need to play a second one. But you can also spec summon it from hand off the deployment, and then it's Albion. I, I saw one guy at the YCS playing three of this, and that's that's wild, isn't it? That's <laughs> yeah, what it was, I thought too. It, it was really wild. And then this actually really overperformed today, the kit, because I think my my Aluber got ashed one time. Or no, it got imperm. And then I just summoned this because I had like a Albion and Grave. And then I ba I got branded fusion, which basically won me that game. And then tumor carrier. Very this, standard. Yeah, very it's my deck is it's it's very bland. Nothing nothing too special about it. And then small, very small best deals, Tulubellion and two Sirenia. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was originally playing three Sirenia, but then I was kind of bricking on it a bunch. Because most of the time you want to, you don't really want, you kind of want to draw them sometimes. Sometimes you don't. It's very, yeah. You always have ways to Lubellion, yeah. so like, yeah. it's always fine. But when you draw it, it's still pretty good because you just get a free best deal out of it. And then Kashtira stuff, Nibiru, and then against the mirror match, which I didn't play. Gosh. Lucky. I did this against Labyrinth, which was very nice. I also just summoned Dragoon on, on Labyrinth. That's, yeah, pretty good. Dragoon has troubles out that, so. And then the one dark magician. It's very. That's, that's monsters. Very. Yeah. And then very three man man fusion. You got you got to play three. Then you get ashed every time. Yeah. I only got ashed like maybe five times, which is still a lot. But and then opening. Saw people playing two. I personally couldn't play two because it brought. I saw it brought down the consistency quite a bit, which I. Three is good because you also get the protection effect, which helped me out in the one cashier match I played. And then just the rest of the brand as well. So one lost, one brand in red, and one in white. No yeah. regained? No regained. Because it kind of. With the low Bistil count, makes sense. Because also with stuff get banished, you're not really trying to. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm bad at explaining. It's all good? Yeah. Have you ever thought of playing two branded and red? I know some people were testing two of them. I never thought of playing two branded and red because I personally, because if you're going first, it's kind of bricky, and most of the time you're just setting it off of Albion. That makes sense. I only, I only got the like, the full like Rindrum and Albaz call. The, it was the Aluber plus Lubellion combo. I only went that once, and 
that was the only game I lost. Rough. Yeah, because every other time I got, I never really had to, because I normally just went for like maybe the Dragoon play and played conservative or just the Mirror Jade plus the Bellion, and that was that was that. Then free to deploy fusion deployment. This was it actually overperformed a lot because you use it you can use it to like dodge imperm and one time against the Kestir player I used it to summon Dark Magician and then I fused into uh, the Dragoon and then I got game for that. Cause I ha also you I had his, 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 uh, he Book of Eclipse to me. It was Chimera and a like something else. It was a no, it was Chimera and Nib, Nibiru, and I completely. I, I had I had a very busted hand because my hand going second it was Dark Hole, Ablib, Crossout, Nibiru, and Foolish. That's pretty good, yeah. And, yeah, going second because he locked out all of my spell and draft zones. <laughs> He went for the, the play that I was, because if I didn't draw Nib, I, I was losing. And then this also won me that game. Cause, Super probably in the main. Yeah, three, Super probably in the main. I, I don't think there was a game where this was useless, because I'm playing, spoiler, I'm playing the, I'm playing Gurra and Mud Dragon. Makes sense. Because if you're playing this in the main, you gotta, you gotta play that. I every time I drew this, I I used it. Cause this won me. It was my round four match. It was against Sprite, and I I used it to dodge an imperm on my Lubellion to summon Dragoon. And in the round five match against Kashtira, I used I had to use it to OTK to summon Pruskinion with my two flip face down. Yeah, I saw it. That was crazy. Yeah, that's. It's very good. And then it's consistency cards and call by for Ash. I used this a lot more than I expected to. I drew it a lot more. I'm glad that you drew it, because yeah. I, I never seem to. That's spells. So, and then just one beast and one retribution. Is this an even 40 or is that 42? Like it's 44. 44 cards, okay. Yeah. It was a lot more consistent than I... When I was testing, I tried 42. It first... Because I couldn't find a way to cut it down to 42 without taking out, like... If I was going to cut it down, it was probably going to be with, like... Branded opening or cutting one of the Albaz. Because everything else I found was a necessity. I cut out Banishment, because... I think a lot of people cut Banishment yeah. from the main. I, I was thinking of it for the mirror match, but I didn't end up playing any of the mirror matches. So, that was... That was that. Main deck. And then extra deck. It's, again, kind of very standard. It's two Mirror Jade. Two Mirror Jade. One Lubellion. I was playing two of this, and then I cut the second one because I needed another super poly target. So Are I, you afraid of this getting banished off the um, off the unicorn? Uh, no. Cause the one time that I got the god, it, it never got banished. The only time that the only thing that got banished was the the Granganol. Yeah, the Granganol. Cause that was probably a much better choice. And Lubellion, because if you're going for the Dragoon play, you can also, if you have Fusion Deployment and Luber, you can just summon this, send Dark Magician, and then just go into Albion, you get a Dragoon, this, and yeah. a Lubellion. I never ended, I did that once today, and it was, yeah, it worked. Then you got two Albion. Very standard. Yeah, very, very, very standard. You can't. I think you can't play anything less than that, and I didn't have really have the space to play anything more. And then again, the one Granganol. That's Starlight Rare. That is a Starlight Rare. Sheesh, game. rich. I spent all my life saving on it. It was, it was, uh, the owner of my locals got it for. He was opening up some boxes for singles because he needed singles to like sell. So I bought it for two hundred. That's crazy. Yeah. And then there was the Rindrum. 
This I worked for a lot because I summoned it like well I summoned it a lot of times. I originally was playing two for the cashier matchup, but then I realized if I I cut it out for a second lagoon because this outs out the cashier board, but basically Dragoon does too. Yeah. Because you just Dragoon, you like pop something, and then you basically just steamroll them after that. Then there was one Masquerade. Very standard. You definitely needed this. Because I didn't play Quaerdus, I played Bruskinion. If I didn't have this, I definitely would have lost a couple more games. Because you definitely you need the you need at least one Despia fusion song, one that were the one light and dark and one Despia. Because if I didn't have this, well, my friend Caleb, Caleb, he didn't he didn't play it and he lost against Sword Soul because of it. Because he get it got branded in fusion and then he had no targets. Well, he activated Brandon in red, ad ad Adlib, and then he didn't have any targets to fusion summon. That's rough, yeah. And then there was the Pruskinion to summon off of the Grand and all. This, this, again, won me the cash tier game. Yeah, which, I saw you super poly that, and I was like, okay, that's over. You won. Because I, I needed to find a way to get 3k, and that was the only way I could find it. And... I thought about playing Quertus. It would have come up like maybe one or two times, but this definitely, it was definitely the better option. And then Super Trolley targets, and the, this is technically kind of the Super Trolley target if you're going into the mirror match. Super standard, but yeah. yeah. It's, it, it's, all, it's all very standard compared to like the, compared to the like YCS stuff. Then there was the one Guardian Chimera and two of the Dragoon goes hard, man. It did go hard, because I summoned it almost every match. <laughs> like, I think I summoned it every match except for the last one against Mathmech, which I lost. This, it definitely overperformed, because I summoned it, I think it was like every other game. Because you, I summoned this off, I remember the, this is the brand of fusion, summoned this back, and summoned this, and pops too, which... Was, very good. Yeah, it was very, it was very good. The deck definitely overperformed for what I expected it was going to do. Okay. I played the the expulsion plus this thing. Oh, you don't have nightmare, so you're playing the Ortheros. That makes sense. I never used this once. Never used it once. I never saw a reason to. I was never going to use it. I was probably going to use it if I found a way to. This is very much worse than the gimmick couple. Because yeah. you can't, because with the gimmick couple, you can like reuse it, but this one just goes to the extra deck. This, uh, I, if I was going to play a mirror match, I assumed they were going to gimmick couple me, so I was going to side this plus cross out, which is what I played. Three. It, this like won me like four different games because I cross I cross outed like four different ashes and I cross out I think one Nibiru, which Makes was sense. the only Nibiru that I ever got to see in this one. This it very much overwhelmed for my expectations. Then there was Bug of Eclipse. Very standard. Very I standard think. for the cash matchup. You can't really. You can't. I never used it. Well, I sided it in, just never drew it. But it it, it was gonna work if it if it if it if I actually drew it. Dark hole very much overperformed here. This won me my round four match against Sprite, and it won me my round. Well, it was if all my zones weren't locked out. For my round five match, it definitely would have worked there. This was also I, I never got Ibu locked. Which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't. And then against like Labyrinth, you kind of evenly. I think evenly should be in every person's side deck. Yeah. I really do. I think it's like the most standard side card. Yeah. 
It's, a, it's just a really good board maker because it also it works against Branded, it works against Kashira. Work, it work, basically works against like almost every deck that you could think of. And then I played one barrier for the cross out. Yeah, Makes sense. Yeah, the cross out because I never got D barriered. I probably should have. Every, Man just escaped it all today. Yeah, I don't know. I very much. If this was at any other region, I probably would not have topped. But yeah, that's about it. Everything was very standard. Very. It was very. It was actually very consistent. I only bricked maybe one time throughout the day. Like must be nice. I'm yeah. trying to be like you. Yeah. Well, congratulations once again on your top, and I hope to see you again. Thank you. Thanks.